the iPhone. So, Rance, you know what? I really appreciate the fact that you're getting out into our community and introducing us to some great people and telling us about some great things that are going on. Yeah, so uh, I'm, being an only child, I never really had the experience of wearing hand-me-downs. And But when you're in high school band, marching band, hand-me-downs are inevitable. But for 15 years, one school wore hand-me-downs all the time until this Monday when they're going to have a new unveiling of their band uniforms. It wasn't easy. By any stretch, it was not easy. The Not Easy Band Director Kurande Washington speaks of is raising money for new uniforms for the William Reigns High School Band. This is what I walked into. I walked into a piles and piles of these. So even after extensive cleaning and uh, parents putting OxyClean and whatever they could do with it, this is what we came back with. And we just had to work with it and do the best that we could until we got the, uh, the opportunities and, and the support that we needed. With a dream to be a band director, Mr. Wash found those uniforms were not enticing enough to students who might want to play. When he started in 2009, he had nine members and had to get outside the box to drum up interest for those who might want to join the band. When I had these, I always uh, would get a wind suit uh, from different uh, vendors to go ahead and, and kind of have something other than this to wear. So that was kind of the little carrot for him. Okay, it's like, okay, you're gonna wear this, but I also have something cool for you to wear outside of this too. We play hip hop music, we play R&B music, we play the top 40, we play the hottest thing that's on the radio in the club right now. So that's what initially gets the kids into the door. The shade from rival schools didn't help. They called us everything from the six piece nugget, the nine piece, 12 piece, any kind of piece that meant small, that's what we were. But you couldn't tell us that we didn't have heart. You know, I always felt like, you know, you know, you're, you're the biggest, the biggest heart. You know, if somebody is down there and they don't have any heart, of course people are gonna get on you. But if we're that nine piece and have the biggest heart out there, they can't help but clap for us. Band participation rose, as did fundraising efforts for new uniforms. Well, the district made a deal with us. They say, if you can put some skin in the game, we'll help you get to where you need to get to. So we did that. We went out, we, we fundraised, we asked people in the community, we played for different organizations. We played for a, a, a golf tournament for Premier Water. They gave us our biggest donation outside of the community. They gave us a thousand dollar check for going out there and they supported us. Some people that didn't know us from a can of paint, they saw the drive and dedication that I had and they saw me being here for so many years and just putting that work in and they, here you go. We want to see you get to the end of the, the finish line. Once they did that, that got us over the hump that we needed to get to and the district provided the, uh, the rest of the funds to go ahead and get the process started. Mr. Wash put in even more work beyond raising money by showing off his fashion sense and designing the uniform's look. I have took an inspiration from some older uniforms from 1966 you can see up on the wall. But then I put the new flair to it. I put my new style on it, switch some colors up, add a few more things. Now it looks 2016-ish. It still has that element of prestige, but still brings on a, a new kind of style. The new look is going to go a long way to adding new members and lifting their already incredible performance to a whole other level. Kids, you know, they, they perform how they look, and they, you know, when you feel good and you look good, you're going to get a, a, a good performance. I'm stoked for the band's official uniform unveiling at Monday's Martin Luther King Day Parade. See you there. I'm Rance Adams from River City Live. Drumline is one of my favorite movies, and I grew up watching Grambling and Southern and Florida A&M just come out, put on a great oh, yeah. show, looking clean. So I am super excited to see them looking their dress best come Monday at the MLK Parade. That's going to be great. Yeah, I wish be so excited maybe about we can that. get them to just come to the mall and just <laughs> go up and down. That, that would be great.